Fabio Quarella, Italian pronunciation F -A -B -J -O -A born the 31st of January 1983, is an Italian professional footballer who plays as a forward for Sampdoria and the Italy national team. Throughout his career, he has played for eight different Italian clubs, winning three consecutive Serie A titles from the 2011-2012 to 2013-14 season with Juventus. With the Turin-based club he also won two Supercoppa Italiana in 2012 and 2013. He also won the 2002-03 Serie C2 with Florencia Viola. At international level, he represented Italy from under-18 to under-21 youth levels before his debut for the senior national team in 2007. He was part of the UEFA Euro 2008-2009 FIFA Confederations Cup, and 2010 FIFA World Cup squads. Individually, he was awarded the Serie A Goal of the Year in 2009, achieved during his time at Udinese, and in 2018, he obtained the Serie Career Award while playing for Sampdoria, which pertains to both personality and playing ability. During the 2018–19 season he scored for 11 consecutive games, a record previously achieved in Serie A only by Gabriel Batistuta. Club career Topic <inaudible> Early Career Quirella grew up in the youth ranks of Gragnano, then Torino, where he made his debut in Serie A on the fourteenth of may two thousand, in a two to one victory over Piacenza. In 2002, given his limited playing opportunities, Quirella was sent on loan to Fiorentina, at that time in Serie C2. In Florence, he scored just one goal in 12 games. In January, head coach Alberto Cavasson decided to cease the loan, whereupon Torino then sent him on loan to Chiedi in Serie C1. He also remained in Abruzzo the following season, and scored 17 goals in 32 games during the 2003–04 Serie C1 season. His time in Chiedi ended with a total of 19 goals in 43 games. At the end of the season, he returned to Torino, in view of the 2004 05 season in Serie B. At Torino, Quirella was an occasional starter, and with seven goals in 34 games, contributed to the club's promotion to Serie A. However, as a result of the bankruptcy of Torino Calcio, in August 2005, he was released on a free transfer and accepted a contract with Ascoli. With Ascoli, he was ensured a starting spot in the lineup during the 2005–06 season, scoring his first goal in Serie A on the 21st of December 2005, a 1–0 home win over Treviso. Topic: <laughs> Udinese, Ascoli, and Sampdoria. Quirella signed with Udinese in the summer of 2005. However, Udinese immediately sold half of his registration rights to newly promoted Ascoli as part of a co-ownership deal. He stayed at Ascoli for just one season, scoring just three times in 33 appearances, and his rights were bought back in full by Udinese in June 2006 for an undisclosed fee. On 7 July 2006, he was sold in co-ownership to Sampdoria, in exchange for the transfer of Salvatore Foti. During the 2006–07 season with the Blucerciati, Quirella scored 13 goals in league play and earned attention worldwide due to the spectacular nature of many of his goals. His breakout season at Sampdoria led to a call-up to the Italian national team and numerous rumours of a high-profile transfer abroad. Following his breakout 2006–07 season, both Udinese and Sampdoria were unable to come to terms on his co-ownership deal and went to a blind auction on the 21st of June 2007. In the auction, Sampdoria bid 6.5 million euros, but were outbid by Udinese, who paid 7.15 million euros. At Udinese, he started the 2007–08 season slowly, scoring just once in the season's first 11 games. However, he soon found his footing at the club, forming a dangerous strike partnership with Antonio Di Natale and scoring a total of 12 goals in the 2007–08 season. This led to Quirella securing a place in the Italian squad for the UEFA Euro 2008 competition. Fabio continued his goal scoring at Udinese in the 2008–09 season, reaching 21 goals in all competitions, including eight goals in the UEFA Cup, where Udinese reached the quarter-finals.
Topic: <laughs> Napoli. On 1 June 2009, Quirella moved to his hometown club Napoli for a transfer fee of €18 million, Euros, where he signed a five-year deal. At Napoli, he was partnered with Ezekiel Lavezzi and attacking midfielder Marek Hamsik, and managed to score 11 goals in Serie A to help Napoli qualify for the 2010–11 UEFA Europa League with a sixth-place finish in the league. He played his last match for Napoli in the Europa League, in a 1–0 win over Ifelfsborg. He was an unused bench in the second leg, which Walter Mazzari used new signing Edinson Cavani partnered with Lavezzi, who the former scored a brace to help the team qualify. Juventus <inaudible> 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 On 27 August 2010, Quirella signed for Juventus on loan for a fee of €4.5 million, Euros, with the Bianconeri having the option to sign him permanently for €10.5 million. Euros. Before the winter break, he was the team's top scorer with nine league goals in 17 appearances. However, he injured his right anterior cruciate ligament on 6 January 2011, in the first match after the winter break, losing to Parma 1–4. He would miss the rest of season. On the 22nd of June 2011, his contract was redeemed by Juventus for 10.5 million euros. Quirella signed a three-year contract extension to stay with Juventus until 2014. On the 1st of April 2012, he scored his third goal of the season against former club Napoli and refused to celebrate due to his Neapolitan roots. On the 30th of April 2012, Quirella signed a 12-month extension that would keep him tied to the club until the summer of 2015. On the 22nd of September 2012, Quirella scored his first brace of the 2012-13 season against Chievo. On the 10th of November 2012, Quirella scored his first hat-trick of the season against Pescara in a match Juventus won 6-1. In the Champions League, he scored his first goal in the competition in the club's opening 2–2 away draw against defending champions Chelsea. Quirella opened the scoring in the March 2013 derby d'Italia game against Internazionale with a curled shot from 25 yards 23 meters, and made the pass for Alessandro Matri's winner. Return to Torino On 17 July 2014, Torino purchased Quirella outright for €3.5 million, Euros, payable over three years. This signalled his return to Torino after nine years, signing a three-year contract. Upon his return, Quirella scored the 3–0 goal on 7 August 2014 from a penalty kick in the third round of the 2014–15 Europa League against Bromopokana. In his first Serie A match back at the club, he won a penalty after being fouled by Inter's Nemanja Vidic, but Marcelo Larondo missed it and the game finished goalless. The following round, Quirella scored his first goal in Serie A for Torino against Cagliari on 24 September 2014 to secure a 2–1 win. He then scored his first goal in Europe with Torino on 2 October 2014 against Copenhagen, with a penalty in the 93rd minute to secure a 1–0 win for the Granada. On 1 February 2015, he scored his first hat-trick for Torino in Serie A against Sampdoria, ending 5–1. On 26 April 2015, he scored the decisive goal against Juventus, 2–1, which handed a victory to Torino in the Turin derby after exactly 20 years. <laughs> Return to Sampdoria After a series of controversies with Torino's fans, resulting from Quirella's failure to celebrate after a goal scored against his former club Napoli, on 1 February 2016 he was loaned to Sampdoria with an obligation to buy. He scored his first goal upon his return on 20 February against Inter Milan in the 92nd minute, in a 3 1 away loss. On 20 November, Quirella scored his 100th Serie A goal in the 84th minute of his 343 th league appearance, and subsequently set up a goal for teammate Luis Muriel, as Sampdoria came from behind to defeat Sassuolo 3 2 at home. On 13 January 2017, he signed a new contract with Sampdoria that would keep him with the club until June 2019. 
2018. On the 21st of January 2018, Quirella scored a hat-trick in a 3-1 home win over Fiorentina, but was later substituted in the 75th minute after picking up a knock. His hat-trick saw him set a new personal career seasonal best in Serie A with 15 goals. He finished the 2017-18 Serie A championship with 19 goals in 35 appearances, among the best scorers of the championship. During the 2018-19 Serie A season, on 2 September 2018, Quirella scored the final goal of a 3–0 home win against Napoli, with what was described by the BBC as a «sensational» backheel volley. He later cited the goal as the best of his career. During the same match, he had previously also set up Grégoire Defrel's second goal. On the 26th of January 2019, Quirella scored two goals from penalties, his 13th and 14th league goals in the past 11 games, in a 4-0 home win over his former club Udinese, also setting up Manolo Gabbiadini's final goal. As a result, he equaled Gabriel Batistuta's all-time record of scoring in 11 consecutive Serie A matches in a single season, which the Argentine had set in 1994 with Fiorentina during the 1994–95 season. With his 143rd Serie A goal, Quirella also overtook Christian Vieri in 28th place in the Serie A all-time goalscoring charts. By the end of the season, he scored 26 Serie A goals for Sampdoria, achieving the Capocannoneer title. <laughs> <laughs> International career Quirella played for the Italian youth sides, known as the Azzurini, from the 2001 season up until the 2004–05 season. He made his debut for the Italy U17 team equivalent to the current Italy U18 side on 5 September 2000 against Slovakia. The following season, he was a member of the Italy U19 team during their 2002 UEFA European Under-19 Championship qualifying campaign. Following his impressive performances with Sampdoria in the 2006–07 season, Quirella was called up to the Italian senior squad, known as the Azzurri, for a friendly against Romania in February 2007. However, his senior international debut was delayed, as the match was cancelled as a result of fan riots in Serie A that weekend. Quirella finally made his senior debut for Italy on 28 March 2007, in a Euro 2008 qualifier against Scotland in Barry, coming on as a substitute for Luca Toni in the final minutes of the 2–0 win. In Kaunas on 6 June 2007, he made his first start for Italy in a vital Euro 2008 qualifier against Lithuania, also scoring his first two goals for the national side in the eventual 2–0 win. On 6 February 2008, he scored his third goal for Italy, and his nation's third goal of the match, in their 3–1 triumph over Portugal in an international friendly in Zurich. This was also the 1,200th goal scored by the Italian national side. Quirella was subsequently included in the Italian UEFA Euro 2008 squad by manager Roberto Donadoni. He made his only appearance of the tournament in Italy's second group match, a 1 1 draw against Romania, coming on as a second half substitute for Alessandro Del Piero. Italy then bowed out of the tournament on penalties to eventual champions Spain in the quarter finals. Quirella was subsequently called up to Italy's 23 man squad for the 2009 FIFA Confederations Cup in South Africa under returning manager Marcelo Lippi. His only appearance throughout the tournament came in Italy's second group match, a 1 0 defeat to Egypt. Italy were disappointingly eliminated from the tournament in the group stage following a 3 0 defeat to eventual champions Brazil in their final group match. Quirella was also included in the final 23 man Italian 2010 FIFA World Cup squad by coach Marcelo Lippi. On 5 June 2010, he scored a header in a 1 1 away draw against Switzerland in Italy's final friendly before the tournament. In Italy's final match of Group F at the 2010 World Cup against Slovakia, Quirella came on at the beginning of the second half for Gennaro Gattuso, with Italy trailing 1–0, and in the space of 45 minutes, he contributed to teammate Antonio Di Natale's goal, who scored from a rebound, and subsequently executed a beautiful 25-yard chip in injury time to bring the score to 3–2. Furthermore, throughout the match, he also had a volley cleared off the line by Slovak defender Martin Skratel, and had an equalising goal contra controversially ruled offside, although he was ultimately unable to prevent the Italians from losing 3–2, resulting in one of Italy's most shocking World Cup eliminations. The match was his 21st cap for Italy, while his goal was his seventh overall. 
Although the Italian team was widely criticised in the media, Quirella was praised for his performance. Under Italy's new manager Cesare Prandelli, Quirella scored Italy's fourth goal in a 5 0 home win in a Euro 2012 qualifying match against the Faroe Islands on 7 September 2010. He later also appeared in a friendly against Romania held in Klagenfurt on 17 November, scoring the equalising goal in the 1–1 draw. Although some sources cite Italy's goal as an own goal, the Italian Football Federation recognises the goal as Quirella's. On 2 September 2014, Quirella was recalled to the national team for a friendly match against the Netherlands and UEFA Euro 2016 qualifying matches against Azerbaijan and Norway under new Italy manager Antonio Conte, although he did not appear during the matches. On 3 October 2015, Quirella earned another call up, once again for Italy's Euro 2016 qualifying matches against Azerbaijan and Norway. Once again, he did not appear during the matches. On 15 March 2019, he received a a call up from Roberto Mancini for UEFA Euro 2020 qualifying matches against Finland and Liechtenstein. On the 23rd of March 2019, Quirella came off the bench in the 80th minute for Italy in a 2-0 home win over Finland. This was 3,048 days since his last appearance, which had come in November 2010. On the 26th of March, Quirella was handed his first international start since the 5th of June 2010 and his first competitive start since the 14th of October 2009, a 3-2 home victory over Cyprus in a 2010 World Cup qualifier, which was also held at the Stadio Ennio Tardini in Parma, scoring twice from the penalty spot in a 6-0 home win over Liechtenstein to become Italy's all-time oldest goalscorer at the age of 36 years and 54 days. He also set up Moise Keane's goal during the match. Topic: <inaudible> Style of play. An opportunistic yet hard-working forward with an eye for goal, good off the ball movement, and a strong positional sense, Quirella is primarily known for his accurate and powerful striking ability from distance, as well as his ability in the air, both with his head and acrobatically, and his penchant for scoring spectacular goals from volleys and shots anywhere outside the area. Usually a striker, he is a versatile forward, capable of playing anywhere along the front line, and has also been deployed as a winger, as a second striker, and even as an attacking midfielder, due to his technical skills and ability to create space and provide assists for teammates, in addition to scoring goals himself. He is also an accurate penalty taker. <laughs> Personal life Quirella wears the number 27 in honor of Niccolò Galli, a childhood friend and youth academy teammate of his who used to wear this number. Galli died in a road accident in 2001. In February 2017, Quirella revealed in an interview with Mediaset that during his time at Napoli, he and his family were threatened by a stalker over a period of five years, which eventually led to his departure from the club. Topic. Career statistics Topic <inaudible> Club As of match played the 26th of May 20191 includes Coppa Italia, Coppa Italia Serie C and Supercoppa Italiana. Two includes UEFA Cup, UEFA Champions League and UEFA Europa League. Topic: International. As of the 26th of March 2019. Topic: International goals. Scores and results list Italy's goal tally first. Topic: Honors. Topic Club Torino Serie B two thousand one Juventus Syria twenty eleven twelve twenty twelve thirteen twenty thirteen fourteen Supercoppa Italiana twenty twelve twenty thirteen Coppa Italia runner up twenty eleven twelve Topic 
Individual Serie Goal of the Year, 2009 Premio Gentleman Fair Play, 2017 Premio Nazionale Carriera Esablere, Gaetano Serea, 2018 Serie Best Forward, 2018-19 Serie Top Scorer, 2018-19 26 goals <laughs>